Although we have to begin with this story Caribe was talking about, that it's an absolute nightmare for any of us who have daughters. MCSO says the teen at the center of this case says the alleged acts went started when she was just 15 years old. Team Charles Bianca Bono is live for us in Anthem tonight. And Bianca, what prompted this victim to finally come forward? Well, guys, detectives say the teen is coming forward now because that swim coach is now coaching her younger sisters, and she's concerned he'll do the same things she claims he did to her. It's every parent's nightmare. We want to trust the people that are teaching our, our children. Nathan, or Nate Moore, a swim coach who has worked in all corners of the valley, accused of sexually abusing an underage girl, parents trusted him to coach. In cases like this, the predators, they, they groom the children. Court documents say the 42 year old had been coaching the alleged victim since she was 13 years old. But when she turned 15, their relationship changed. In court paperwork, that's when she says at the Lifetime Fitness Pool in Scottsdale, Moore started inappropriately touching her. In 2018, Moore moving to the Anthem Community Center where he continued to coach swim and say he would drive the alleged victim to practice there. But before taking her home, documents say he would drive her to the Anthem Outlets parking lot and sexually abuse her in his car. In court paperwork, the teen claims Moore told her to delete their texts and keep their relationship private and that their sexual actions were fine as long as they were not having sex. But investigators say they ultimately did, starting when she was 16. Documents say when the alleged victim turned 17, she ended their relationship. Now, at 18 years old, she's coming forward forward because Moore is now coaching her younger sisters who are 8 and 14. Yeah, it's hard for victims in these cases to come forward. In a phone call monitored by investigators, documents say Moore acknowledged the first time he had touched her and the first time they had sex. Shortly after the call, MCSO arresting him at his Cave Creek home. Shortly after the call, MCSO arresting him at his Cave Creek home. We're even pushing forward for more counts of the same charges. And investigators say they have interviewed the alleged victims, two younger siblings who are now being coached by Moore. They tell police they have not been sexually abused. MCSO says if you think your child may be a potential victim, you should call them. We're live in Anthem tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10.